France's most prestigious newspaper is to be sold. And the buyers are a mixed bunch, to say the least. They include a billionaire, one of the founders of Yves Saint Laurent, and a banker. Well, critically, they're backed by journalists who hold the balance of power. But as Bloomberg's Elliot Gottkin reports from Paris, it may not please the president. It's as French as the Eiffel Tower, and it's losing money hand over fist. But that could all change now that Le Monde has found a buyer that will wipe out its debts and pump in 50 million euros to boot. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. It's a deal supported by journalists who hold a blocking shareholding. I think we have two main problems. The first one is that we have a debt that is not sustainable. And thereafter, we have a big problem at the print factory, which has to be modernized, which has lost clients, and which has to be restructured. When you make these two things, Le Monde, uh, even the daily Le Monde, is a quite profitable company. So we, mean, we need money only. The favoured consortium has plenty of that. It's led by Pierre Berger, the opposition-supporting co-founder of Yves Saint Laurent, together with the Lazard banker and Xavier Niel, one of France's richest men who made his first fortune from sex chat lines. They trumped a rival bid led by France Telecom and backed by the president, not the ideal ally, as it turns out. The writing was on the wall for the France Telecom-led bid as soon as President Nicolas Sarkozy got involved. Le Monde journalists take their independence extremely seriously. So when the president told the editor that he opposed the Berger Consortium's bid, he helped Le Monde journalists make up their mind. It's what they've been doing for 65 years, ever since Le Monde was launched, supported by Charles de Gaulle as an antidote to newspapers that collaborated with the Nazis. Analysts say assuming shareholders approve the deal in September, it should safeguard the paper's future, though it's no guarantee. I cannot imagine that Le, Le Monde will disappear. It's uh, the French tradition, uh, institution of media. Um, now we have to wait if the economic crisis will stop and uh, the ad market will again begin. Officially, circulation at Le Monde fell 4% last year, Worse than Le Figaro, but better than Libération. Le Monde claims its editorial independence is its main asset and that its new owners won't mess with that because if they kill the paper's independence, they kill their investment. Elliot Gottkin, Bloomberg News, Paris.